Okay, everybody. Just finished purchasing this Mercedes Benz uh, ML350 2011. Now I'm putting a Pioneer Double Din DVD radio on it. And the harness to this to this uh, vehicle is pretty expensive. The whole piece is uh the whole thing costs from three night. I saw it for four hundred. Then somebody at another spot said seven hundred. Crazy, crazy price, crazy price just to put a double din, a pioneer double din on it. So I started, I started uh, playing around, looking at the wires and stuff. I put in cameras on, on the Subarus. I put on backup cameras on Subarus. Uh, other cars and it's, they're not they're not hard to do but what I'm trying to do is install the original backup camera that this this uh, vehicle has to the pioneer to the pioneer radio that I uh, that I purchased okay here's the pioneer radio I did it I started from the back and I got it I got it to go with the with the backup cam, the backup cam, the original backup camera. Okay, so what I did, I worked from over here. Um, worked from over here. I put a negative and positive, um, just regular wires through here to try to work with. Positive, and the negative could be. Sorry about that. The ground, grounded here, down here, and the battery that I showed you, I, I put it here. Just two, just two wires, brown and a blue one I used. Took the, took it all the way over here, all the way to the back, so I could connect the radio from back here, so I could figure out how to use the factory. Cam the factory backup camera. Give me one second. Hold on, guys. Okay, here we go. So I I did the wiring, just regular wiring to this Pioneer. You could use Android, whatever. Okay, I connected the the blue ones power. I put the the constant is yellow and I put the 12 volt red. I put it together just to this is just to try to put it to get uh try to get that camera going from down this way. Um to the blue which is positive up up front. And the ground the ground of the radio harnessed to the brown one which is up front also. Okay, so what I did, I opened up where it, where it pops up, I opened this whole thing up right here. Okay, and then I found where the, uh, where the backup camera is, which is right, where are we? Which is right here. That's where the backup camera is at. Okay. Okay, so so the harness of the backup camera is all this right here, this whole thing right here. As you see, I already did it, and I got it to work before I did the video. Okay. Um, the red and the first, the red and this black one, it's the power to a backup camera um, to get the backup camera started. When you do a backup camera, you usually put it into the uh, the reverse lights so they could go on. And this is this right here, this yellow one right here, which I usually remember is like a signal, which you use the RCAs, which you use the RCAs from over here. This is the RCA right here. So what I so what I did with that, I just started, uh, you know, I, I spliced it a little bit, spliced it, spliced it. So this is the power. 
this this blue one is a power that's going to go all the way to the signal right here which it says it right there reverse gear signal input so that power I put on there okay that's where I put the power I use this wire and I put it if you can see I put it where that yellow wire is at which if you see the yellow wire from here and you go over here it's really the red wire which is power okay so that's how I used it okay and and you need RCA's because if uh, someone knows how to use do backup uh, backup cameras you need to put RCA plugs uh, or you or if you're gonna do it with uh, a factory radio you have to get some sort of converter to be able to input the RCA plugs to the backup camera um, so what I did I, ha I got this where are we sorry I got this wire right here and that wire like I pointed out before goes to this RCA now I'm gonna show I'm gonna get the wire and to show how I did it okay be right back you see everything mm -hmm. okay I use similar RCA's like this this one is messed up so this is what I'm gonna use just to um, to show how I did it in the RCA's like I said depending on the backup camera female or male you will cut one side off okay and then you splice it like that here there's two there's two wires here this one this one right here is what connects here which is the ground should be the ground this here and this is where the power goes to it so as you see here one wire two wire this 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 part of the wires is the ground and this part should be the positive for here when it goes into the radio so you would do is use this part and use this part this one you will cut it okay so that's how I do, that's how I did it I did similar uh, what, uh, at one of uh, my BMWs well at my BMW I did a um, aux cable I relocated my aux cable using the same method so this over here come this way this over here don't show my face I don't want to see my face Coming down this way. Okay. This right here, I did the same thing as over here. If you come over here, look at this wire. See this wire right here is same thing. What I did, what the what I just cut now is just an example I was showing. So this is what this would be the one that's in the middle with the power. The one with the little plastic, the white little plastic piece sticking out, and this would be the ground. So that's what I did here. Over here, it would be the yellow. Okay, there goes the yellow, and the ground, which is this is the ground. So the cars are already grounded. Um, okay, and now I uh, I click the car to second. Um, on engine off and that's where you'll see the video now I'm gonna to go to the car while my son is gonna look at the TV right now okay Just give me a few seconds to go to the back to the front then you will see it go on Yep. As you can see, 
it went on. So my theory, keep on looking at it. My theory is right. Uh, so now, so now you see how it works. It works when you put it on reverse. So now what I'm gonna do, that's that's how you do that. I did it all here, and I'm gonna go do it in the front. I'm gonna do it in the front and just check the right color wires and do the same same thing in the front. And for this vehicle, then you will only need to find um, where it goes the um, the speakers, the wires for the speakers, which is not difficult. It's just like any ordinary car. Uh, and the um, and the only thing that would need to be purchased is just the it's just the bracket and the face to it. And that should be no more than like thirty nine ninety nine in Best Buy or something, and you ain't gotta go crazy and pay no two fifty to seven hundred dollars on wiring that. Only if you really want to do it, um, how can you call it, professionally and use every little equipment that's on it. Okay, we're not too crazy about the steering wheel, um, the steering wheel, steering wheel harness. Um, so that's not included into it. This is just this is just to know um, how to install it without paying so much money. Because these vehicles get these vehicles stuff for these vehicles are very expensive. Okay, um, that's it for now. That's how you do it. You just gotta go to the front and check the colors of the of the speakers. Um, same way as it was done power negative just gotta look for the power the negative um yellow to red uh, um ground either grounded to the chassis of the car somewhere around there or grounded to the uh, um to the power of uh to the battery where it connects to the harness of the original this original uh the original harness of this car okay all right